Flipping heck. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Joel Bear, and we're here, Istanbul, Turkey. Manchester City have beaten Inter Milan 1 0 to become the treble winners, Champions League winners. I've got here Harry Pinero, Young Philly, Avellino, Sharkey. They've joined us on five. I'll start off with you, Harry. Yes. You're crying tears. Tears, tears. Te uh, real tears. Obviously, you know already I'm a United fan. Uh, these are my rivals. But they have been the best team in England for the last five, six years. So um, it's not a surprise. I feel this is inevitable. They was in the final against Chelsea, lost it. But this time around, it wasn't the best game from City. You know, we're used to seeing them playing great football, but they stuck in there. And when they got that chance, they took it. And I think when you're a team of that quality, it doesn't matter who scores. It's, it just matters that it, the goal's in the back of the net. And they did it. They defended really, really well. Um, Walker didn't play. Stones, we saw him in midfield. We were saying he was a bit tired in midfield, but he still did a great job. Philly was saying he doesn't lose the ball, and he didn't. Um, so as much as it hurts me to say, I'm a realist. They deserve it, bro. They're the yeah. best team by a mile. And no one in the whole of Europe was able to compete with them. So credit where credit's due. I'm going Turkey. Well, I'm in Turkey now, so I'm going to Istanbul now just to stop off and just get this forward a bit. Because yeah, my, a yeah bit. right now, you, yeah. Can, you can see zoom in a bit. It's, it's coming off. Yeah. I said, hey, 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 get back. Hey, hey, get, get back, back, get back. You get stay back. there, mate. <laughs> Billy. Listen, you came here wanting, you're a Palace fan, yeah, but you, you wanted City to do the job, didn't Badly. you? Badly. Bro, we, we live in England, man. We need to encourage English teams to win. I'm picking up from where Harry left from. City didn't really do much, and I feel like that's just because Inter Milan implemented what Italy do, which is sit behind the ball, and then they just had to hope that on a counter they got a good chance and broke away, which they did with Rodri. I'm just buzzing that City has won. Genuinely, I'm happy an English team has taken it home. What did you see in the first half from Inter Milan that you liked? Just the way they got behind the ball, really. What I didn't like, though, is that in the first half, they only had one shot. Um, so I feel like the tactic that they kind of come out with, it didn't work out for them in the end. But yeah, I kind of like that they sat behind the ball, but a bit shit that they only had one shot on goal. Avelina, sorry, Manchester United fan. Obviously, you're gutted inside. I see you, I see you sometimes when, when I'm doing shifts and that. I see you at Old Trafford, enjoying your games. Long drive up M6. Yeah, rub Long drive back down from the M6. Oh, yeah, 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 rub it in, rub it in. <laughs> listen, no, but bro, honestly, yeah. Listen, bro, if I'm honest, you know, they're the best team in Europe. Mm. I think Inter made a great game out of it. They did what they were supposed to do, which is play the Italian way, get them behind the ball, be disciplined. I think they got some good midfielders in there, Brozovic, Morella. Uh, I think they'll be disappointed about how they were in the final third. You know what I mean? No threat. Up. Jekko first half for no, me, I mean, anonymous. I mean, second half, they definitely had chances. You know what I mean? They had chances of Lukaku, yeah. but he couldn't, yeah, couldn't they, finish them. They had chances. They had to, you got to finish your dinner. It's a Champions League final. What, do yeah. you, what, what, like, what, yeah. what are you playing at? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I think credit to City because although it wasn't a virtual so City performance, they just get the job done, bro. And that's what champions do. You know what I mean? They're not going to play perfect every time. Mm. Inner, credit to Inner for cancelling out a lot of their play, but they won the game, got the job done. Mm. We only remember the winner, bro. Sharky. Did you like how they set up City? Was you surprised? You seem like you were not surprised, but... I was surprised. This is how they've been setting up for, for a few months now. Like, the, the system would have the three at the back, two and then four behind Ireland. They've been playing like that for a couple of months now, and it's been working, but I knew it was going to be a tight game. Everyone's been saying our oh, big scoreline, but this is the fourth 1-0 in a row in a Champions League final. So it's always going to be a tight game, no matter what two teams are in it. It's a one game, but they deserve it. They're the best team in the tournament. They've been smoking teams, so... Yeah, fair play to them. Don't let me hold you guys if you guys want to see this. Don't let me hold you. I just want to ask, what do you expect this summer, Harry? For United? I think for United, um, our spine needs to change. I think it's been very mediocre over the few years. I think with Ten Hag, if we're back to the right way, we need a new striker, another goalkeeper, definitely two midfield players, just so we have rotation in midfield. Um, because you can see with City, they can bring on Mares, they can bring on Alvarez, they can bring on anyone. Um, I think that's what we need in order to compete. I think other teams are doing that. We've seen uh, Liverpool going by McAllister. And there's talks of us getting Mount, Casado's uh, available, uh, Lavia's available. So there's players there that we need. Um, but we need our mentality to change big time. I think that final that we lost to City in the FA Cup final was a wake-up call because they didn't even get into third, fourth gear and they still won. So um, we need to be ready for next season big time. Goal, yeah, you said earlier on, goalkeeping emergency. Are you sure? Absolutely. For me, it's the striker that you guys need to sort out. No, you got workhorse in there. The two priorities for Manchester United in the transfer market, the goalie and the striker. You know what I mean? De Gea has been a brilliant servant. I'm not going to take that away from him, but, you know, it's a new day. I'm not going to be talking about Real Madrid, why are you getting rid of Hazard when he was the best player in the Prem four or five years ago? Of course he was, but this is today. We want to win football matches and be like these lot in Champions League finals. You see the difference that uh, K 
keeper who can play out from the back with technical ability makes today. The inter goalie, I mean, there's even better keepers than him on the ball out there, but he was good and it adds so much to your game. Sometimes you can cut three, four passes out and you're in. But you can be direct, you can switch the play, you can. It's so important, you know what I mean? Sharky, yeah. finally, I want to say. Whoever beats them next season in the league, surely they win the league, right? They're the favourites, obviously. You have to. I think the only way that City are going to lose the league is if there's two or three more teams challenging them. Because when it's just one team challenging them, City will overcome that. But if it's like, let's say, United, Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea are all challenging at the same time, City are going to drop more points because other big teams, you know? So then it's like someone can emerge. But if it's just one team challenging, they're always going to come out on top. And one more thing, by the way, the, one, the reason this hurts is this is another English team that have won the Champions League before us. Boy. Blade. Blade. Lastly, man of the match from everyone, please. Lastly. Ooh! I'm going to go Rodri, just because I don't feel like he made a lot of mistakes and he scored. Uh, I don't know I don't know if Rodri played that well. I'm going to say, out of the City players, oh, uh, Ruben Diaz at the back, solid. He was solid. Solid, was. solid. Yeah, Ruben Diaz. Latoura Martinez. Who? Um, I don't want to pick a City player, and I think Martinez worked his socks off. He was, he was, he was yeah, he's not threatening. Too, he's, he doesn't really have end product, in my opinion. I think that's what Inter suffer. But you know what? But a lot of his link-up play was great, and he worked like a dog up there, do you know what I mean? So he didn't really get help from his teammates. I think he was there to be the link man. I think you got players like Nathan Ake, who, for me, was, yeah. was excellent. I'd say Nathan Ake as well. I think on that right-hand side, I think that's where the danger was really coming as well, left-hand side. But I think Nathan Ake today, just too composed. He knows what he's doing. Rodri, obviously, he's going to get the plaudits because he scored a goal, but if we watched the game for 90 minutes. I think Nathan Ake was incredible. Guys, thank you very much for joining us here in Istanbul. Listen, I've got a star-studded squad here with me. Please make sure you're supporting the five content. Rio is going to be giving his opinions as well soon. Joe Bayer, we're going to enjoy the rest of the day. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. More content coming soon. Signing out. Peace.